In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to record vocals with a microphone in FL Studio. We'll look at how to set it up and how to do the actual recording inside FL Studio itself. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about FL Studio and music production in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. Before we do anything, let's make sure that our settings are correct. Go to Options, and then Audio Settings. Make sure you select the correct driver under Device. The buffer should be set fairly low when recording. If you're using a USB microphone, then you'll want to choose that as the input here. I'm using the Sapphire ASIO driver, and I recommend that you always use the one that comes with your audio interface. Alternatively, you can use this one. Set the latency quite low by adjusting the buffer size. Usually anything between 128 and 500 will work fine. If you already have a project that's quite large, then you might not be able to run it at such low latency though, so it's best to do the recordings early on or alternatively disable any master effects and similar items which consume a lot of CPU so that you can temporarily lower the buffer for your recording. If you start experiencing performance issues, you might have to start freezing tracks in order to free up CPU time. Check out my tutorial on how to get the best performance in FL Studio if you want to know more about this. Okay, now let's look at how to record using a microphone. This could be vocals, guitars, drums, or whatever. The first thing you want to do is to ensure that your microphone is connected and that the gain is turned up sufficiently. Most microphones require external power, so make sure to enable the 48 volt phantom power if you're using a microphone like this. Most audio interfaces will have this functionality. Next, find an empty mixer track that we can record into. Now, select your input device from this menu. In this case, your microphone. You can also record with several microphones at once, but let's keep it simple for now. In my case, this will be my microphone, so I'll select that. Depending on what audio interface you have, this list might look different for you. Note that the lower ones are mono inputs and the upper items are stereo. I suggest choosing from the lower area or you'll end up recording only the left or right channel since your microphone is mono by nature. Now you're ready to record into the playlist. Make sure that the gain is not too hot because you don't want it to clip. It's generally better to record a bit too quiet because you can always increase the volume later on. Before you hit record, make sure that you have the tempo set correctly. If you want a metronome to help you out, then you can enable it here. Right click to select different sounds. You can either highlight the area you want to record into by holding down shift and then dragging like this, or start from the beginning. That's up to you. To start the recording, press the record button. A menu pops up, and in this case, I'll just choose audio into the playlist. I can't deny what's possible with you and me. It's chemical, heart and mind. We can go. And there's our recording. If you need to use a metronome, then make sure to turn it off afterwards, or it will just keep on going every time you press play. I can't deny what's possible. Relatively easy, right? But what if you want to make several tracks in a row? To do that, we can use the new loop recording feature. This can be very helpful because then you can go back and select the best parts from each take later on. Here's how you do it. Click here to enable loop recording. To start the recording, press the record button. I'll just choose audio into the playlist.
can't deny what's possible with you and I. It's chemical, heart and mind. We can go. I can't deny what's possible with you and I. It's chemical, heart and mind. We can go. I can't deny what's possible with you and I. It's chemical. Heart and mind, we can go. I can't deny what's possible with you and I. It's chemical. Heart and mind, we can go. To stop recording, just press the space bar or the stop button. As you can see, it will keep on recording takes in a loop until you stop it. The various takes will be automatically grouped together. Pretty nice. The recordings will be muted, so let's use the mute tool to unmute them. You can now choose the best take. Can't deny, I can't deny. Or if you feel the beginning was good in this one, but the end was better in this one, for example, then you can use the cut tool and chop them up and combine different parts from each take so that you end up with a perfect result. By the way, make sure that stretch is not enabled here, or you'll be restretching the samples instead of resizing them. We can use crossfading to make the transition smoother by making one clip bleed naturally into the other. To do that, double click on the clip to bring up the sampler, and then click here to enable crossfading. Do the same with the other clip. What's possible with you and I? With you and I? Now they fade into each other instead. This is the easiest way to crossfade in can't FL Studio. Can't deny. I can't deny. Can't deny what's possible with you and I. It's chemical. Once you're done and happy with the result, you can recombine the various clips into one take by consolidating them. To do that, right click here and consolidate. In order to get the best possible result, it's important to choose the right settings. For the best possible quality, choose WAV file. Bit depth is the number of bits of information in each sample, and it directly corresponds to the resolution of each sample. Next, there's the resampling option. Resampling has to do with the anti-aliasing of the repitching process. I recommend using the highest possible settings here, 512 point. Note that higher settings will cause the rendering process to take longer. As you can see, loop recording can be quite useful. Can't deny what's possible with you and I. It's chemical, heart and mind. You can also record into Edison if you'd like. Find an empty mixer track that we can record into. Select your input device from this menu. In this case, your microphone. You can either load it up manually or just click record again and select Edison instead. I can't deny what's possible with you and I. It's chemical. I can't deny. And there you have it. 
This option is great if you want to do additional processing on the audio, like noise removal, for example. Now, to get this into the playlist, just select what you want to keep and click here. I have another tutorial showing how to remove noise from a recording using Edison. The link is down below. I can't deny what's possible. You can now export this as an audio file or continue working on your project. If you need professional feedback on your music, mastering, and so on, then check out the links below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. And as always, let us know in the comments below what kind of tutorial you would like us to make next. Thanks for watching.